Hey guys, um, I noticed uh, on YouTube that a um, that on for Anime Studio there's there's a lack of uh, videos showing how to trace images, and I know that's one of the features on there. Um, but from what I've played with uh, on on the program, it seems like the the um, trace layer option is actually kind of ineffective for as far as what I'm using it for. I mean, I'm sure there's someone out there that finds that it's pretty effective for what they do. Uh, not for me. What I've actually been doing for tracing images is I've been um, actually using the image as uh, just the image itself as tracing. Um, I got some pictures of some uh, images that my buddy drawn out. And uh, what I like to do is I like to scale them down um, to fit the image. I mean, you could either shrink them down or make the camera however you'd like. But um, stuff like this, you could mask it, but then you're just left with just the the lines that aren't actually part of Anime Studio. It would just be, you know, you, you couldn't manipulate the lines. Um, so what I'm doing <clears throat> is instead of using the um, trace image option right here, I'm actually going to physically trace it with the program itself. Um, sh yeah, this does take a little bit of time, but I, it's really not hard at all. I mean, and if you're not a great artist like me, this is a pretty effective way to actually do it. So first off, you're gonna run, you're gonna run in your, or <clears throat> you're gonna throw in the image that you'd like to trace, which I've already done. Pick it frame zero that way you have your add points line the way I like to start it is I like to just put a huge circle in there oh I gotta switch my layers there we go and um, I like to do a big circle some people will just use just start tracing with the add points right away I don't really like that because I don't see my lines until I until I make them visible so that's why I like adding the circle because then it just you got your 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 stroke and everything you need at the moment. So next off, you'd wanna you wanna decide how much stroke you want. Me, I think that's a little too much. I'm gonna dumb it down a little bit, and I feel that's good enough right there. Two point seven. I'll probably go down to two point five. Close enough. Okay. So we got our we got our stroke. So now I'm going to start adding points to match. And we're just going to do this all around. And see you got this little curvature if you do the circle like me. So you got to uh, go to the curvature tool and then just point it out just like that. And then we're, now we're going to do the same thing for all the spikes of hair. And if you need to add multiple points to um, to follow the contour of the the drawing, do so. I mean this is your animation you want to make it look good and if you happen to have a little trouble like following the contour don't be afraid to actually use a curv curvature tool for those points to actually make them follow the the drawing so I'm just gonna follow the hair just keep going and like I said it takes a little bit of time but I really don't like the tracing option I mean if you got a really really basic thing that's not as detailed as something like this it may work effectively but everything I've ever used it for it just hasn't really been that great and you don't have to use like an image like this you can actually import an image and go to your tracing image and it'll actually make like a transparent background that sticks with the camera I like doing it like this because it's a black and white picture as is but what's going to mess with me is once I color it in, I'm not going to be able to see that image. So that's where the tracing image is actually kind of nice because it, it'll be, you can actually see through it through the colors of whatever you add. But since I don't add color to this until I'm completely done tracing it, it don't really matter to me anyway. So, okay, I'm going to keep adding points. And keep adding points. It's lots of fun. Oh, yeah. And I'm using Anime Studio Pro, by the way, on a PC. So 
I see a lot of people using it for Mac, which has a slightly different interface from what I see, more colorful. Nope, but I'm poor. I have got a PC. Maybe someday I can afford one. Maybe someday. Alright, so looks like we're getting pretty close to getting this head in. By the way, I don't know if I mentioned it, but my buddy Zach made this drawing. He's quite the artiste. He's been contributing to my animations a little bit, and I've been really appreciate that. Curvature tool. There we go. Make that point because that's just make me mad. But that's what I get for starting out the circle. Okay, so we're gonna keep going. Come on, we're still going. Okay. All right. Since I got like a gap here, um because it kind of transitions into the neck at this at this point right here um I'm actually just gonna do this I'm just gonna put it in there I know there's not a line but I'm actually gonna hide that there we go so no harm done if you're familiar with the hide line tools it's helpful at points such as this and then I got this damn or curved line again. I'm going to point that out. There we go. Alright. And I'm going to keep following the outline. Keep following the outline. This is just... I know you guys are loving this. You just love seeing a guy straightening lines. Straightening lines. Add points. Add points. Let's add a point here. Add a point there. Add a point. Rawr. Alright. Okay, almost done. There's the end. Right over there. Now I'm just kind of getting... getting hasty. Alright, come on. And I think this drawing is actually supposed to be like a zombified Arnold Schwarzenegger. I'm not really sure. My buddy loves Arnold, Arnold so uh, I wouldn't be surprised. He doesn't really ever tell me his... Uh, drawing names or where you got them. Okay, so look. So far, there we go. Let's see a preview of this. Alright, obviously the darker lines are what I outlined. Okay. So, like I was saying before, I will show you a way to trace the lines without having to use the add point. You can do it two different ways. You can do add points like this. You know, follow the curvature of the lines or whatever. You know, you want to select your item, click it, and press space. Bam! Now you got a line. Oh my god, that's too much stroke. I don't want that. So, I am going to... There we go. Make it look good. There. Okay, so I got pretty much a two-width stroke. I am going to actually change the width of my stroke to two. And I'm going to use the pencil tool, or freehand, whatever. And I'm just going to go follow each one of these lines. Detail lines. And if you got shaky hands like I do... It's no big deal. You can always go through the points and change them later, or you can change them right away. It don't matter. Just go to um, select shape, or not even. Don't even do that. Um, go to um, wow. Uh, translate points actually. Pick it, delete. Bam. Pick it. Oh, don't do that. Pick it, delete. Pick it, delete. Oh, look, it's changing itself. Cool. All right. Pick it, delete. Pick it, delete. Pick it, delete. There you go. So if you're having trouble with your lines and you got shaky hands, that's a way to just fix it. So we're going to follow these lines some more. Follow these four head line things. And blah, blah, blah. Okay. And the way I do my vector layers for tracings like this, I will make this a head. And this is just going to have the main detail of the head. We're going to exclude the eyebrows. Um, sometimes I add the eye sockets themselves in these tracings. Uh, it all depends on what I'm doing. Um, I'm not going to do it for this one. I'm actually going to make the eye sockets a separate layer or a separate vector layer. But I am going to get the detail outside of the eyes. So we're going to do that. And I'm not going to do this perfect because if I do... This video is going to be way too long. You guys are just going to lose interest. 
you're going to be like, ah, screw this kid. He takes too fucking long. And just, you know, I don't want that. I want you guys to pay attention and, you know, enjoy the video. Don't, don't be, uh, don't be like one of my buddies who's just impatient with everything and just like, oh, I can't fucking do it. So, yeah, I'm going to animate this fucking bunch of lines. No, don't be patient. Be, 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 oh no, be patient. Don't rush it. Kids want to rush shit. Don't, don't rush it. Love the art. Love the art. If you're artistic, that is. I'm definitely not artistic. Anyway, back to these tracing lines. Okay, woohoo. Um, actually, that's a really curved line. Um, I'm going to redo that, and we are going to go all the way up. Bam. All right, since it's really messy, I'm actually going to delete some points. That way it looks nicer. So bam, delete, bam, delete, bam, delete, bam, delete, bam, delete. There we go. It's got the curvature that I want. Bam, delete, bam, delete. Oh, it's, that's what you got to be careful of. Don't select all the fucking points. Press delete. It don't fucking work. Pardon my French once again. Um, if you notice, some of these little lines that he drew actually come to more of a point, like right where I'm circling. Um, a way you can kind of follow that is actually if you highlight these points and then you go to the... Yeah, the width. You can actually make them smaller. And it kind of gives a little nice little point. Makes it... Uh, I don't know. Gives it some more zazz. There you go. Gives it more zazz. You know, you just, just add some points here and there. Zazz. 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 Nah, that's not zazzy. Anyway. Back to the tracing. Oh, this is just so much fun, isn't it, guys? All right, so we're going to do that. The, the forehead layer, obviously, I switch back to my my add points tool. I'm trying to get this done as fast as possible, guys. I apologize. I know you guys are wanting to animate, and oh, my God, I can't wait to trace something because it's going to look so badass. Well, I'm going to have a separate video on what you need to do to actually make your drawings come to life if you drew it, or I should just say tracings because... You know, that's all why we're here. We're, we're tracing. We are professional tracers here. Okay. So, bam. Space. There we go. There's the outline. Let's take a preview of this one. Oh, great. It looks pretty good. The light lines are obviously not traced, but the dark lines are. Awesome. Like I said, the eyebrows, the nose, the teeth are all going to, you know, look somewhere else. All right. Let's, let's see what it looks like. Oh, hang on a sec. Let's see what this looks like without the picture actually there. We're going to move it. Okay, so we got we got the outline of it. Without, you know, obviously the eyebrows, the the eye sockets and the nose hole and the teeth are going to give a little bit more detail. But you obviously get the point of the tracing. And like I was saying before, we have these jagged edges over here. Obviously, these aren't exactly how they want to be over here. These are rounded off. These are jagged. I will explain how you could fix that here in a sec. Now what you want to do, go back to your head file. Oh, oh, don't want to scale it. Alright, we're going to select these points. Now we're going to use the curvature tool, the thing that we made points with. No, we don't want points now. We want rounded off. There we go. Now we got a little bit more curvature to our our head. And now, since we got the round to it, now we can make the little humps that come out. There we go. There's some more zazz for you. And you can do that all around. I mean, if you notice, this is really jagged. No, you know, that, that's sharp. You don't want that. There you go. You round it off. You might have to manipulate a little bit, you know, just select the points. You know, T for translate, and then control shift, and push it in however much. Eh. There we go. Ah, uh, that's pretty good. Kind of pointy. Yeah, whatever. Point made, though. Okay, we're going to do the same thing for the jaw. We want this point right here. Just, that gives us some zazz. <laughs> Alright, round that one. Boom, Arnie's got a more round chest. Or, chest, wow. Chin. Okay. And, uh, I will have a second video demonstrating how to... 
uh, do the eyelids and the eyebrows, at least the way I do them.